nothing. In a second, if all mistakes are yours, if you're nothing, it doesn't matter whether people praise you or criticize you. Then you wouldn't care so much what other people say about you, because you have nothing, or you're nothing. Then you wouldn't be so attached. Then the second statement is that everything, all mistakes are mine. It's easier said than done. But when you don't exist, which is the, the selflessness, that's the first step to spiritual cultivation. If you can do that, then a lot of troubles will be gone. And this is very useful for anyone who are ordained or Laity. And here, because I know my family may be watching over the internet, I want to I I want to ask for forgiveness for my parents because I I went into the sang. I became a nun without their uh, approval, but I still feel that that was the right choice. That's all I would like to share this evening. First of all, let's join our palms and visualize homage to our lineage Sri Guru Living Buddha Lian Sang and all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and all the divinities. Dear Masters, Mrs. Lu, Masters, reference for our disciples, everybody, good evening. Let's give another round of applause to Reverend Lian Yu. And her heart is very gentle. Immediately I felt that she said a statement and hoped that her parents would hear it. And I would like to tell her parents that, that your daughter is great, is a great person. <laughs> because uh, she is a great hero and I'm just a small woman that is still uh, living in the mundane world. Uh, someone said there was someone that's braver. Okay. He told me a story. Xiao Ming could not sleep. Asked his grandma for a horror story. And the grandma found a, a horror book. And that book actually is a marriage certificate that the grandma has lived for a very long time. And I'm telling you that this book is the scariest. But Xiao Ming loves my daughter. Not only he loves her, but his family also loves her. But is it really that scary? That that's my son-in-law. What I meant is that our mind can change heavens into hell or change hell into heaven. I remember in Taiwan, I was dining at a restaurant. I only ate a teaspoonful of rice. And I saw a black dot uh, among the white rice. Because, and I took my glasses and take a close look at it. It turned out to be an insect, a small one. But my immediate reaction was, 
<laughs> 还是保有全尸。That、uh, this insect was still whole. 看到了嘛？哦、oh. ，他就认为说这实在是太扯了。一个高级的餐馆怎么可能有发生这种 ？But、uh, my friends saw that that this is a very、uh, high class restaurant. How could it happen? So they asked the manager or the owner to come out. 我觉得说没有关系，这很。But I felt no big deal. 这个部分我给他挖掉，我不吃就可以了。Take out the part near the insect. 朋友呢，他们也是好意，他们就很坚持。But my friend insisted and asked the owner to come out. I was afraid that this will be bad. So I was afraid that they would argue. 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 Using a very relaxing and light-hearted words that.、Uh, Your meals are very good, and then the owner said that, "Oh, not at all, not at all." And then I told him, "It's right here, it's right here." I was pointing to the insect. You know, it's so good that even the insect was、uh, fighting for it. So when the owner saw the. The insect, the bug. And he didn't say anything. 不好意思，我立刻 didn't say any other than said. 新的白米饭，然后 I'm sorry. Uh, I'll change. 然后呢，你喝的饮料 I'll give you a new bowl of rice, and then you don't have to pay for this meal. 这样子 And then I'll give you a free drink too. 看在眼里嘛，哦，看在眼里。So my friends saw that, and they felt that I was strange. In their view, how could how could you feel like that, seeing something so such an incident? Because they couldn't continue to eat. That you still look quite happy about it. Actually, there is. I have reasons why I was happy about it. Because the insect was originally on the rice. If I read this rice, there were only two possibilities. First, I did notice it. Then I just ate it in, in, inside my stomach. And the second, maybe I only ate half of it. Then I just ate it inside my stomach. And the second, maybe I only ate half of it. 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 He loves to plant vegetables and fruits, and also dates. One time there was a fellow disciple, and I told him that they can pick whatever they want. This water, it is not in the biggest pot. It is in a little pot. So they pick a small pear. They never saw it from Taiwan. And I told them that they could pick the fruits. And so she bit. She took a bite, and then she cried out very loudly. Why? Because she found out there was a bird that was still moving. And she told another Dharma sister. This sister, also very angry. This sister, she even more angry. How can she say? She said, "What's so scary?" This Dharma Sita said, "There's nothing to be scared of." Last time when I went to Master Lian Miao's house, the date, there were lots of fruit, and she was very happy because Master said that she could pick some, and she took one and she bit a little bit, and she saw only half a bug, and she saw only half a bug, and it wasn't moving, but she had swallowed the other half. And she felt that would have been scary. So they told us. So that proved that、uh, you're very lucky because our fruits and vegetables are organic. They're all natural. Ah, this. In the restaurant, I thought. So 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 in the restaurant, I thought. You know, I actually gained in this because the meals were free, and I got another free drink, free juice. 
我相信。So when something unfortunate happened, I believe that、uh, you would feel upset by just naturally. It's quite natural.